So number one, here is one cutaneous clue. Look at the epidermis here. The epidermis is completely wiped out and dead in this area. And you can see that over here, it's like partially dead. How do you know it's dead? It's totally pink. The nuclei are gone. And remember, when we have necrosis, necrosis looks pink. The reason it looks pink is that as the cells die, the first thing that happens basically is the nuclear membrane starts to break down and the DNA and the nucleic acids get destroyed by endonucleases that are circulating in the body. And we don't want nucleic acids floating around our body randomly, right? So, so the nuclei break down and it's the, the DNA in the nucleus that makes the nucleus stain purple on H and E. So the nucleus dissolves right away but all of the proteins, which is what the bulk of the cytoplasm of cells is made of, they stay intact. They're, remember, proteins are, are in this, particularly in keratinocytes, they're structural proteins, keratins. They're very big, strong proteins, like big steel cables almost. That's how I think of them. It takes them a lot longer to break down. And so they're going to stick around. And of course, the proteins are what stains pink um, on the H&E stain. So when you see this wiped out pink epidermis, that's, that's really otherwise intact. There's not really any parakeratosis there. It's just like it died suddenly. That it, right away makes me worry for acute ischemia, that the blood supply was suddenly cut off to the skin and the epidermis was one of the first parts to die. It will die and start showing breakdown before the dermis does. Eventually, if the ischemia is complete enough, and is complete and lasts long enough, the dermis will also die. But here you can see the epidermis and also the follicle, the hair follicle epithelium here is beginning to die. There's also hemorrhage in the background. And in this case, the uh, diagnosis was angioinvasive fungus uh, in a patient that was completely immunocompromised. Uh, and so they have, uh, we'll talk about angioinvasive fungus later in the talk, but basically they have hemorrhage because they have no platelets and there's no inflammation because their white count was basically close to zero. So that's the reason that we have hemorrhage and this kind of just very pink and red looking slide uh, here. So epidermal necrosis without other inflammatory changes, that's a sign of acute ischemia. Number two is this. Here's the eccrine duct, the sweat duct. And down here used to be an eccrine coil. The eccrine coil is the secretory portion of the sweat gland, right? It's very sensitive to ischemia. So in, in fact, when you get ischemia in the, in the skin acutely, one of the first things to die is the eccrine coil. So finding necrosis of the eccrine coils is a really strong indication that you probably have an acute ischemic situation. And in this case, you can't really see it perfectly on this picture, but right here was a vessel and it's totally occluded by thrombus. And also on the uh, GMS and PAS thing, there was actually some fungus in this vessel and there was a lot more fungus elsewhere. But the point of this picture is to show you the eccrine coil necrosis, a very striking clue when you have it for, um, for acute ischemia. So if you see either of those two things, you need to figure out why is there ischemia in the skin? Because many of the things that cause acute ischemia in the skin are, are emergencies, things like thrombotic uh, events, um, coagulopathies, angioinvasive fungus, and a variety of others. They're things that need to be sorted out right away and that the clinical team needs to get to the bottom of and figure out what the cause is so that they can try to correct it, hopefully in time before the patient dies. So it's really important to not overlook these subtle clues. And of course, the first step before you even worry about anything else is look at the clinical note or call up the clinical team and find out what is the scenario clinically. 